What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in my video here today. I appreciate it very much. You took a chance on some weird guy opening up a box here on his uh, couch. I got this in the mail and I'm pretty excited. And I'm not just your average guy, no. I am a uh, above average guy or a less than average guy. I'm weird is the point here. And uh, I'm a recovering performance artist if you're new to my channel. Uh, what I mean by that is I have been a performance artist professionally speaking for well over 14, 15 years. And I got a, quite a majority of my income for about 10 years from performance related income. I would do shows and events and parties for different people and make money doing that. I love making people smile and laugh and joke around. I would juggle fire. I would walk tight ropes. I would do character acting at some festivals and events. I've been a number of different clowns for a number of different events and I've been a mime for several different events as well. I've done backyard barbecues and birthday parties. I've done fire juggling gigs at nightclubs. I've done strolling entertainments in restaurants. I've done street performances in New Orleans as well as on the streets of Key West in Florida. And of course downtown Detroit where I'm from. That's where I'm shooting from actually. The point is, is I was making a majority of my income for about 10 years from performance related things. And all that was taken away from me. Actually about 95% of my contracts were taken away from me in the year of 2020 because of global concerns. The point is, is to give relevance to the rest of this video. I am a recovering performance artist. Things are opening up and I'm doing more performance related work now. And this is something I ordered that I'm incredibly, incredibly excited for. That's gonna help me create a better show for my street performance related activities. So what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I'll tell you what's in the box um, when I'm done opening it, but I'm gonna keep telling you more stories in the meantime. So when I'm doing street performances, I find myself relying a lot on my technical skill and not so much my verbal rhetoric. That's one of the things that this channel's really helped me out with is relying more on storytelling and interacting and speaking to a general audience, which is you, the internet. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to a camera right now, but I know that this is gonna translate to me talking to you on your computer or on your cell phone screen. And I gotta make this valuable for you and entertaining for you. No pressure, right? This has gotta be entertaining in some way, have some sort of value. So anyways, this is good practice for me to learn how to speak to a general audience in a more uh, universal way, a way that can be appreciated by people of various backgrounds, all shapes and sizes and all that, blah, blah, blah. So you're probably wondering why this is all padded up and so am I considering that the dang thing's made out of wood. I'm glad that they did pad it up this much though because I really want this thing to be in tip top condition. So when I'm doing street performances, I've in the past relied on my technical skill, like I said, and I would usually set up a little environment where I have like a, uh, a receptacle out for people to tip me. And I do what they call a trickle show. A trickle show is when you're doing uh, a trick over and over and over again, and you just have a bucket out in front of you and you collect tips. You'll see street performing musicians do this style quite a bit. They have their guitar case out, they're playing some songs and singing their heart out. People come by and they sit there and watch for a while and they flip you a dollar, a five dollar bill, sometimes some change, maybe a 20 or 50 or a hundred dollar bill. Those actually happen. They're kind of rare and if you're a smart street performer, you don't let that hundred dollar bill sit there. You put that thing in your pocket before someone else potentially steals it under the guise of putting money in. And another reason you pull that out and you put that in your pocket is because you don't want someone else coming by going, oh that guy made a hundred bucks, he doesn't need my dollar. Anyways, it's a tricky game. So I did street performances for uh, many years and I would rely on the trickle style of collecting tips and all that. Another style of performance is called circle shows where you get a lot of people, you build up this hype and you get a bunch of people around. You do some sort of crazy thing that gets everyone's attention. Like maybe spin something on your finger like this and then you get all these people come up and watch what you're doing and you start talking to them and you build up this hype for this show that's about to start and then you catch what you're doing and you stop and you, you bring people in with hype and all that and then you do a big show and this big show can be as long as 15 minutes but upwards till 20 minutes to an hour, maybe even longer if the, if the show is going really good or if you have a lot of material to get through. But realistically though, for street shows, you probably shouldn't go over 45 minutes. In my opinion, I don't have a lot of direct experience doing shows for that long but I've watched enough shows that after a while, especially nowadays with the YouTube generation and the TikTok generation, people just don't have attention spans for that stuff. So you want to hook them in, do a couple of really good pieces before you get to your finale. And before you do a finale, you let them all know you're gonna pass your hat at the end of the show and you give them reasons to justify why they should reach in their wallet and hand you some hard earned money and tip you. Now all of that takes a lot of 
calculated jokes, a good script to show, and having a good flow to keep people interested. It's not unlike making a quality YouTube video, which I'm struggling with. I've been posting every single day for the year of 2020 here on my channel, and I'm still trying to figure out the ins and outs of keeping a good flow to keep people's attention spans going throughout the course of making videos. Sometimes I do a really good job and other times I think I miss the mark. But the point is is that I'm trying and I'm not going to delete any of my mistakes for this year. So if you want to go back and see some of my worst videos, check out my playlist section and I made a specific playlist for my worst made videos. And I'm sure you can probably make your own assessment in all the other videos that I might be proud of that didn't turn out so good too. But that's another story for another day. Making these videos has been really good practice for me and I'm not going to give up on this. I'm going to keep doing this stuff. And I dare to make bad art. So once again, when it comes to doing the full big circle shows, I've never been quite good at them, but I've always wanted to because I think that that's a lot more entertaining uh, show. It gives more value to the viewer, and if you're really good at them, you can do very well for yourself. I've seen some people do wonderful big circle shows for about a half an hour, 45 minutes tops, and they can make hundreds and hundreds of dollars just for one show. It takes many years to perfect the art in order to get that much people interested in what you're doing, to hold their attention, to keep that flow going, keep every moment count. All these little moments tied together with a bead of your personality and keeping everyone interested and compelled. And keeping them laughing, you want them to feel good. You don't just want to wow them, amaze them with, with your magician skills or your magic tricks or your juggling antics in my case. But no, you want to provide real value to them, and some of the best ways you can do that is make yourself relatable and get people laughing. People love to laugh. They'd rather laugh and have a good time than just be amazed by your ability to juggle balls or do uh, card tricks and things like that. So, the point of me saying all this stuff is that I'm very, very excited to show off this artifact I have here today. I gotta show you what I ordered here. So this looks like a little briefcase of a thing, right? Well, I have a dream of spinning this around on my finger, just like this, and building up pipe, catching it, and then flipping open this table that flips open. Now, I don't know how well this one works just yet. I just <laughs> unboxed this, but let me see if I can't get some room to set this thing up. But this table is supposed to flip open. Oh, there it is, just like that, ha-ha. And now we have a table that came from a briefcase-esque kind of thing that sets up right here. Just like this right in front. I like the camera so you can see it. Would you look at that? Now I got this table that I can just set up. Now I do something called contact juggling where I juggle crystal balls and manipulate them around to make them look like they're floating and doing things that they're not really doing. Have you ever seen the movie The Labyrinth with David Bowie? Or better yet, let me show you. This is what contact juggling looks like right there. It's an example of me doing it. And if you check out my playlist section here, my channel, I teach you how to teach yourself how to do contact juggling. So check that out a little bit later after this video. But for right now, this table is gonna help me with doing my street shows because if I can attach this to a briefcase and disguise it as a part of the briefcase and spin the briefcase around my finger and have a little sound system with a lapel mic and get the crowd excited, I can do that and build up a crowd maybe using some wit, charm, personality, some bad dad jokes, etc., etc., and have a good hook, line, and sinker, and tell a good story, then maybe I can start the show by catching it, have the table flip out, open up the briefcase with my crystal balls, and proceed to put on a little show for everyone. That could be really good, I think. Well, that's the unboxing video here today. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you got a little something out of this. I think I see a little bit of this uh, right here. This is made of a, of a particle board, so I might want to take this and use this as a template to make this out of some better quality wood. And I'm seeing some cracks in different places, but I guess you get what you pay for. This was on sale for a good price online. So yeah, I, I might want to get some better quality wood. I know lumber is real expensive, but I think I can easily recreate this. The way this was all put together, it looks like I could definitely just trace this out and make a new one. I can make more of these. All right, folks, thanks for listening to my story. If you're new to my channel, please know I am a chaotic poster. I post every single day here on YouTube for the year of 2021, and I post about many different things, many different topics, many different subjects. The best way to figure out what I'm all about is to go to my playlist section and look at all the different playlists that I made. I try to organize all my chaotic postings into various playlists to organize it in a way that makes it easier for you to be able to find things that might pique your interest. 
I'm interested in art and culture. I'm interested in sociology. I'm interested in logic and language. I'm interested in cooking and making cooking shows. For I'm interested in making stupid little comedy vignettes and stuff that just makes you laugh. I'm definitely interested in art in all the forms possible. I'm interested in people just being creative and expressing themselves. I'm interested in living on a budget and frugal living and sharing tips and tricks on how to get by on next to nothing. I'm interested in empathy and compassion and how to be a good person to your fellow human beings. I'm interested in all sorts of stuff. One thing I do consistently here on this channel is I post a weekly circus and flow arts tutorial video every single Sunday or Monday morning depending on when it's done. And it teaches you all those different things like how to contact juggle, how to juggle balls, how to juggle clubs, and so on and so forth. Just go check out that playlist and you can see more about that one too. All right, folks, you've had enough of me, and I have not had enough of you, though. I'm going to keep posting videos every dang day, whether you like it or not. And if you do like it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you don't like it, please subscribe to my channel anyways. There's no sense in both of us being disappointed. And that's a wrap, folks. I'll end this video the way I've been ending all my videos recently with these words. Remember to never give up. Do your best. Stay true to you. And be amazing. And that's your Mr. Rogers moment for the night, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful night. See you next time.